Okay, in this problem, we are trying to cube a complex number. I might say, why would I want to cube a complex number? Well, we're going to do it for practice with arithmetic, but the result is really cool, so it's worth sticking around to see what this is going to turn out to be. So as we cube something, remember that means multiply times itself three times. Now, when we take something and multiply something three times, so now remember, when we are multiplying something times itself three times, we have to first multiply two things. So let's take the first two. And we want to multiply those out. So we distribute. One and one would be one. Um, square root of one and square root of three i would be a minus square root of three i. And then another one of those. And then a minus square root of 3. And a minus square root of 3 will be 3. I and I would be I squared. So we have plus 3 I squared. And then we simplify a little bit. Since we have a negative square root of 3 I and a negative square root of 3 I, we really have two of those. And then remember that I squared is a negative 1. So that three plus 3 I squared becomes minus 3. Finally, we have negative 2 minus 2 square roots of 3i. And so now we're going to take that result, that was the multiplying the first two, and we'll multiply that times the third factor there. And so we multiply again. Negative 2 and negative 1 will be negative 2. Negative 2 and square root of 3i will be plus 2 square roots of 3i. Negative 2 square roots of 3i and 1 will be minus 2 square roots of 3i. And then we have a minus 2 square roots of 3i times the square root of 3i. That'll be plus, and we'll have 2, square root of 3 and square root of 3 will be 3, and then i squared. Notice the middle terms there are opposites, so they cancel out, leaving us with negative 2, and then 2 times 3 is 6i squared, but i squared is negative 1, so we get negative 2. And then minus 6 is negative 8. And so there we have it. When we take this complex number and multiply it times itself three times, we actually get the real number negative 8. Which actually means that that thing up here is actually a cube root of 8. Because when you cube it, you get 8. So you learn about these types of cube roots of 8, negative 8 in this case. When you get into uh, a pre-calculus course, when you get into some trigonometry, that's when you'll talk about this. So if you go on that far, you'll learn a little bit more about how do you actually find something like this by starting just with a negative 8. So it's really cool that that complex number, that ugly looking complex number there, 1 minus square root of 3i, when you raise it to the third power, you get an actual real number. And he's not unique. There are tons of complex numbers out there that when you raise them to a certain power, you will get an actual real number answer. Pretty cool, huh? Until next time, later on.